move on to other stories now. The civil society continue to doubt uh, the sustainability of uh, the YES Fund. We've been speaking with the uh, executive director of the Secretariat. If that the Abric uh, value chain is one easy way to go because the primary produce usually you can find here. Some of them even to the point where they get rotten at the farm gate. So if we had those who want to set up juice processing companies apply from somewhere uh, central region you find the citrus and some pineapples that is good enough. Submission of the business plans began on Monday, September 1, and the youth enterprise support will be accepting the plans until Friday, October 10. A panel will select the best plans, and the young business entrepreneurs will go through mentorship in addition to the financial package they will get in December. The mentorship is to help them better manage their businesses. Though beneficiaries are not expected to pay back the grant, they are required to employ at least five persons. So government is saying that fine, instead of you paying us back, take this money that we are going to tailor guide you till whatever you put in that business plan is realized. And for that, those five people to be able to assist you in such a way that you can eventually employ a lot more people who otherwise would have been burden on government or on, or, or on society. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is a way, and these are people who will be paying income tax on their earnings, mm -hmm. okay, which means that the monies uh, will be coming mm -hmm. back. The Secretariat could not immediately indicate how many businesses would be supported. The Executive Director says it is all dependent on how much each applicant is requesting. Successful applicants, however, can have at most 50,000 Ghana cities. If you're a Ghanaian below 35 years and have completed at least junior high school, you are eligible to send in your great business plan for support. So what are the doubts of civil society when it comes to the YES Fund? I'm joined over the telephone by Samuel Ahokli. Samuel Ahokli is a research officer with the Integrity Development and Empowerment Center. Samuel, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, my sister, and uh, my, uh, good afternoon to your viewers. Absolutely. So, Samuel, what's your measure of sustainability for this YES Fund? Yes, uh, the uh, YES initiative uh, has been a doubt uh, so far uh, because... When you look at the program itself, you realize that uh, we have a lot of models under the, the GDA initiative, and some of us think that it will be one of the departments under the same uh, uh, GDA, one of the models where we didn't have to go and rent another office and then probably uh, put a lot of resources into this again. Uh, we think uh, that almost, almost like a, like a, a political um, uh, initiative not really in the interest of Ghanaians, because we have even cause to complain about the leadership of, 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 of years, which is a political figure, former Argentan uh, MP, uh, Kote Duasari. And then we have our doubt about at whether it will be an effective uh, initiative. I see. Uh, so the fact that it's headed by a political leader means it's not sustainable? It, it, it is not. Uh, it's not sustainable. It's not really about that. But we are talk if, if something needs to be sustained, then we have to actually get a broad uh, 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 based initiative where it can, it can reach out to all Ghanaians. We all know in this country that when political uh, heads have some of these things, we know they give it to their people. Some even believe that it's a job, job for the people, people because they, they are going to, to probably uh, investigate your background. If they, they get to know that probably this youth is an MPP or a PSC or a PPP, I have my doubt that uh, they will be able to benefit from this particular program. But, but that is what we have at hand, the fact that Kweku uh, Eduasari is in charge of the Secretariat. Now, how can we work with that? How can we work with the 10 million Ghana cities in spite of that? Hello, let me uh, uh, please uh, come again. I I'm asking. Uh, we have that situation where Eduasari is executive director for the Secretariat. How can yeah. we work with that to get the best out of this 10 million Ghana City fund? Because I, I don't want to believe that we are in any way saying that the, the fund is not important to uh, encourage young business, the growth of young businesses. And so what can we do with it? We have the situation. What can we do to benefit from it? 
Yes, what, what, what we should do is that uh, I, should, I think it should be an independent, uh, uh, I mean, organization looking at this particular fund. Uh, probably we can give it to uh, a particular uh, company. You know, we have an issue with Agambiri and, uh, I mean, uh, RLD. Uh, we had a problem with that when it comes to Adidas and Sada. We, we thought that it's a private organization and then government can put in with them mm. to do job for about. Look at what happened. Mm. Look let, at what let, happened. Let's, let's just say, when it comes to the Yes Initiative, the, the situation we have is such that we can't give it to a private uh, I, 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 I individual. We can't give it to one person to manage. It, it is that it's under a duasari. Can we still get the best out of it? What must we do to get the best out of the 10 million Ghana cities? Yes, I think we need a monitoring evaluation, uh, uh, I mean, the department, uh, and, uh, comprising of maybe uh, interparty. Uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, executive, where we can have people from PNC, PPP, and M uh, MPP to be on a particular board, and then they'll be able to to, 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 get, uh, to give access to these people who will be coming for, for interview, because you, you, will not, you not only go for the fans, you, are, you have to come to defend it before, or before a panel, and I think this panel should comprise of uh, other political parties. Samuel, thank you very much for your time. Samuel Akolui is a researcher with IDEC.